shoulder doesn't hurt, Robbie. Not a bit. You better take it easy the rest of the day, sir. <clears throat> yes, I intend to. No more running downstairs, three at a time for me. I'll be just outside if you need me. I want to thank you again for taking me to emergency. You're welcome. Did you break your shoulder, Robbie? Mm, no, the doctor said I just, uh, dislocated it. Well, you'll have to be good and not play hide-and-seek games with me for a while. Well, what kind of games do you think I can play? Hmm? Well, we can play store, and I want to buy a dress. I just tried on. Right you are. All right, madame, here it is, all nicely boxed up. Your dress, what a wonderful choice you've made. And I certainly hope that you enjoy wearing it to your party. And please, feel free to come back to my store at any time that you feel like it. I will. Goodbye. Uh, uh, but hang about. Um, I think the mademoiselle has forgotten something. No. Yes, you have. What? You've got to pay me for the dress. I mean, how do I afford these sumptuous surroundings? My warehouse, my staff, my, my three ferrets, my llama, my boat. Oh, this is another customer, I hope. Well, pay the money. Welcome to Robbie's Rags to Richard's Emporium. Is what? We're playing dress shop. Yeah, and this little pirate here won't pay me for the dress she just bought. Well, hey, wow, that's terrible. I only owe him ten cents. Um, what happened to your arm? Um, dislocated it coming down the stairs. But he has to be good and play quiet games. That's a good idea. Well, you be good and talk to Frisco, and we'll go play dress shop. We have things to discuss. Okay. Yeah, Hi. a couple what things to talk to you about too. Where's Anna? She's out playing paparazzi as we speak. She's taking pictures? Where and of whom? Oh, very persuasive. Yes, that he is. Well, you don't sound convinced. We have always counted on Wu's wisdom before. No reason to doubt him now. somewhat upset, grandson. Somewhat isn't the word. If I were you, I would count my blessings. The council was very generous. They gave you a second chance. Kim, make the most of it. Grandfather, they may as well have tied my feet together and my hands behind my back and told me to go run a marathon. These complaints do not become a leader. That's just it, Grandfather. You yourself put me in charge of the Asian quarters in Port Charles. Why should I let these men sit in judgment of me? Either I lead or I don't. Are you saying I'm just good enough to feed your cat? Enough! You were very lucky. The council listened to you before they judged you. Others have not been. I'm going to give you a warning. If you continue with your rash behavior, you may not be so lucky with your elders the next time. Are you listening, Kim? We'll have some business to discuss, and we don't want to disturb them right now. When will they be finished? Um, later. Why don't you and I think of something and we can play ourselves? Okay. You got any ideas? Well, what do you got in the purse there? Lots. lots. You know, I don't get it, Robert. We're all part of the same operation. What's what's the big secret about where Anna is? Later. First, I want to give you some background. What in the world is all of this? Oh, crackers. Crackers? Oh, where did you get these crackers? Well, well. I... <laughs> oh, yeah. Chang were very respected in business community. Suspicious affiliations with known criminals, but so far, no proof. Yeah. That's interesting. That's what I thought when I put this question at the computer first thing this morning. No specifics on these so-called known criminals that Wu's hanging out with. Question asked and answered in the negative. But where there's smoke, so they say. Okay, so let's get back to Anna. Now, what is she doing and how does it relate to the information we have on Wu? Anna started following Wu this morning, shortly after we received this rather mixed review on him. He went to the waterfront. Guess where? And not to Harry Warren's buy a bed, I hope. Come again? No, that's just an inside joke. Well, this is no joke. He finished up in a factory in the Asian Quarter. Wait a minute. It wouldn't happen to be where this bomb was planted in the warehouse, would it? Mm -hmm. Block was so white. 
shortly after his arrival, other Asian business types, all executives, all turned up coming in the same side interest of the factory. Sounds like a summit meeting. It certainly wasn't Mahjong, that's for sure. What do you think's going on, Robert? That's the mystery of the moment. Let's just hope that Anna can come up with a few uh, shots of faces from people attending this meeting. What goes up, as they say. And this is my grandmother. With my grandmother. Right, you have Philomena and I have Mariah. What's that? Oh, that's where my grandmother lives. I used to live there, too. And you see right there, that's my horse, right there by the tree. Can we buy a horse and rider for my stuff? Well, who gets the hard part? You. I'll be the rider. <laughs> I thought so. Why don't we play something a little less strenuous, like um, a game of cards? Do you know how to play go fish? Yeah. Well, get out your cards. Okay. Okay. Robert. I have a thought. What? What if Donnelly stashed in that, that factory? Here's a fascinating idea. No, it makes sense. He was just sprung from jail, right? An inside job. Woo, his old business buddy happens to be in town for a powwow. Well, it could be a coincidence, but it's certainly intriguing. I think we had to bust that factory. Well, I've got no, I don't have enough research warrants. There's no proof. No, use our brains and sneak in. No. Now, we run the risk, then, of Wu being tipped that we're on to him. Then he's going to pack up his operation and take it somewhere else. Now, let's wait and see what Anna turns up. Mm -hmm.